Okay guys, today we're gonna be doing the Face Reality Acne Treatment. For this treatment, I choose not to use any steam, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with a double cleanse. Personally, I start every single treatment with a double cleanse. I think it just really makes sure your client doesn't have any sunscreen, no makeup, no sweat, no dirt, no debris, and of course, no oil. So now using the glycolic lactic toner and a small two by two, I'm gonna just prep the skin with nice firm pressure, but still being gentle. You're just gonna apply this all over the skin. This is gonna make sure there's no residue left and give us a nice clean base to work with. And while you're applying this, always ask your client how they feel on a scale from one to 10 with possible tingles. So Steph, tell us, how do you feel on a scale from one to 10? Does this feel like anything? No, okay, perfect. As long as they feel good and they're not saying something about like a four or five, then you can go ahead and proceed with the treatment. With a new client, you're gonna wanna start with acne peel number one, but obviously Steph has done multiple different treatments with me. So we are gonna actually go ahead and start her with a level three, cause this is not her first treatment. So what you wanna do is take a four by four and fold it up twice till it's nice and thick, but it looks about the size of a two by two. Then you're gonna place the four by four on top of the bottle and tilt it and then move it in almost a circular direction each time for about five or six times. This will properly soak the four by four. Again, you'll just apply this all over the skin with nice firm pressure while still being gentle. And again, you'll ask your client how they feel with tingles on a scale from one to 10. So Steph, tell us how you feel on a scale from one to 10. One. About a one? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And Steph's skin can really handle almost anything. So since she answered with a one, we're gonna let this sit for about two minutes. It will self neutralize. You do not have to remove it. And then we'll go from there to the next layer. Once you've let that sit for about two minutes, you're gonna take a clean four by four. You don't wanna double dip. Fold it up. Now, if she was doing a level one or even a level two and she told me she felt about a one in tingles, then you would bump her up to the next level. We're already at number three, so I'm just gonna do another layer of number three. Now, let's say we had did a level one on her and she told me that she felt, you know, a little bit more than a one, maybe like a three, then you would just stick to that same level. Once this new clean four x four has been soaked, again, I'm gonna go through with good firm pressure, making sure you cover every area. And I'm gonna ask her one more time, on a scale from one to 10, how do you feel with this layer? A one. Perfect. And the same thing, you're just gonna let this layer sit for two minutes as well. Another tip is you can use these little fans for your client. Stuff is perfectly fine, and plus we're recording, so we're not gonna use them. But for the most part, I give these to pretty much all my clients regardless. This just helps with any tingling or uncomfortableness. And you can find these on Amazon. Again, this is a self-neutralizing peel. So after the two minutes is up, you're not gonna remove it. You're gonna go ahead and just start with extractions. I'm just gonna apply a decongestion solution that helps wiggle out blackheads from the nose. And in the nose, I prefer to use a BT Micro. I find it's a little less aggressive and a little bit easier for the clients because the nose is a very sensitive area. So I'm gonna extract this little guy because it looks ready. I'm gonna take a clean, sterile, disposable lancet and give it a small little prick. You can already see it's starting to pop out. That just helps it glide out a lot easier and cause less trauma to the skin. When you prick it, you're not gonna go super deep. You're just gonna do enough so it'll wiggle out. Personally, this is my favorite type of extraction tool. So I'm gonna hold the skin nice and taut and just add a little pressure and it pops right out. You can see that little guy right there on the back of my glove. Now I'm gonna take a two by two and the Sal C toner. I always put this on after extractions. It just prevents anything from getting infected, any bacteria, as well as just kind of help closing it up. And I'm only gonna apply this where I do the extractions. After that, I'm gonna take one of the Face Reality cream Base Mask. For her, I specifically chose the Brighten C Mask because we wanna work on some of those dark spots and PIE. I'm gonna also take a fan brush. I did get this one from Amazon and we're just gonna apply the mask and let it sit to help reduce any redness and inflammation, especially after doing extractions. And this is a thinner mask, so a little bit goes a long way. It spreads really easy. It does look a little thin, but the client can definitely feel 
the creaminess and the hydration all over the skin. Now these masks are acne safe and perfect for all skin types. All right, Steph, how do you feel? Amazing. Now I'm just gonna remove the mask completely and you're going to finish off with an acne safe lightweight moisturizer as well as a sunscreen to make sure the skin is still protected all right that is the treatment i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and leave any suggestions down below